your life adventure begins today. What that means is what has happened in the past is in the past. We cannot go back to the glory days of high school, college, or even early marriages that didn't last. Every day is a new day. What happened yesterday is gone. What's happening today is based on a plan, hopefully, and what happens within your community, within your family, within your relationships is usually based on how well you love. If you know how to love a person, one person, then your family can function in peace, honor, dignity, and love. If you don't know how to love, if you're always judgmental, if you're always expecting them to meet your standards and expectations, if you're always unable to require or request what you need from someone, if you can't speak to someone, if you can't get them to listen in pillow talk or over lunch or over dinner or at a family brunch, then you don't deserve to be with them. You see, a true listener not only anticipates needs, but they really think about other people's needs before they respond. They also will be willing to apologize if something's gone wrong. But sometimes so much time has passed, so sometimes relationships so do last that you don't have to apologize. But sometimes a quick, I'm sorry I'm late, covers everything that went wrong up to date. Other times, I'm sorry I'm late, and we'll talk about anything after a little love, after a little bit of wine, after a little bit of fine food, and over time, we'll figure out what went wrong, so everything going forward will be perfect and right. But when it's time to play, when it's time to sleep, when it's time to go to bed, when it's time to say our prayers, when it's time to go to church, when it's time to do the work, you have to look at who's going to be my best friend in all of this. The liars of America think they have rights over other people. They don't. Even in marriage, you can lose rights or you can gain rights. In a marriage that has lost its rights, usually it is folded at its seventh year. A marriage that has gone right for a long time can go through 20 years of good marriage and bad marriage and survive. But what really matters to most people is the goals of a family. And the goals of the family is what allows it to thrive. The goals of a family for the parents, the father, the mother, the husband, the wife, the spouses, whoever they are, whatever their color, whatever their ethnicity, whatever their predilections, whatever their faith passages. But life journeys are meant to be spent with life forces, life partners, and people who will be partners in our life no matter what. A partner that can tolerate your tantrums is the right kind of partner. A partner that can help you become better is the right kind of partner. A partner that wants to learn, grow, and understand you, regard you, accept you, and learn from you is the right partner. A partner that celebrates you in the community, that raises you up in dignity, that never puts you down is the right partner. A partner that knows your frailty, knows your weaknesses, knows your difficulties, knows your past problems, and still loves you is the right partner. In life, we cannot say what is important to God other than the love of a partner. People that don't partner or lose their rights to partner or choose not to partner after a period of time usually end up pretty judgmental, pretty bitter, and pretty difficult to live with. People who chose the wrong life partner often make the wrong decisions because the life partner has tainted them. They have tainted them against love. They have tainted them against reality. They have tainted them against what is and isn't important to God, and they have tainted them to walk them away from any type of relationship with the Lord above or spirituality that serves a lifetime. True love from parents is essential. True love from siblings is kind, but real love in a partnership is what most people live for. 